Hi guys, I'm Alvin. It's Inka. And we love food. We do love food, yeah. especially street food. I think it's safe to say that when we travel, it's for food. Our stomachs always tell us where we should go next. So where are we going today? We are going to be trying some awesome egg waffle, which is from Hong Kong. There's a place in Chinatown that makes egg waffles. They're going to kind of show us how they do it. And then we're going to try and bring this back to the office and try to make it in the Tasty Kitchen so then you guys can also have it at home. Are you hungry? Super hungry. All right, let's go. Let's go! Why are you not running? <laughs> why, are you, why are you running? I thought we were running. Hi, Michael. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Tell us a little bit more about Eglu. We actually started the store three years ago. It's kind of influenced from the great street food culture that we have in Hong Kong. It was like a big part of my childhood and I decided I wanted to turn that into a business. Okay. All right, um, what do we have here? So we have um, our core ingredients for making egg waffles, our eggs, of course, uh, dry mix, wet ingredients, and butter. Um, and what is this? This is our egg waffle pan. <gasps> Love that. I want to show this because this is like your secret mix. Yeah. Michael won't tell us what's actually in it. So I crack my eggs, mm -hmm. okay. and then I pour my sugar in, whisk it. It's really pretty much almost like making a normal waffle. Yeah, almost exact same, but uh -huh. we use a lot more egg. Give it that eggy flavor, mm. that like nice custardy taste to it. So we mix it to it's like a pretty incorporated consistency. Milk, a little bit of vanilla extract, dry ingredients. Mm. You want to swap? Yeah. Okay. I want to go in. Smooth. So I pour my butter in. Mm. Ooh, yeah. It smells so good though. So we actually let it rest for overnight. It helps it rise a little bit. Rise. Is there yeast? Is there yeast? There's baking powder. Oh. Oh yeah. There's that. <laughs> so this is our batter that we had sit overnight. It's a lot thicker and smoother. It's golden. That's what our batter used to look like. I know. I'm trying to yeah. memorize this color right now. Are you ready for this egg waffle? I'm so ready. You know when they make it on, yeah. on the streets, they mm -hmm. go like, turn. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn, turn. I feel like I'm shooting with a child. <sighs> Sorry, I need some room for the shot. Here we go. So I pour it in. Ooh, wow. Swivel it around. But it looks so good on this camera, oh my god. <laughs> Swivel it around on the bottom. So Make it gets sure like it covers? The right, yeah, just so it gets like the right eggy shape to it. Turn. <laughs> Set the timer, and now we wait. Oh, it comes with a timer? What? Yeah. It smells so good. Where did you get this machine? Um, we get an import from China, so like... I hope Amazon has. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a story about how chefs used to have like these throwaway eggs. Like they're broken eggs and they used to want to make it into cakes mm -hmm. instead of throwing it away. Oh, oh, it's ready. Here we go. Alvin, you gotta be gentle. I will be gentle. Oh! oh. Wow. Now that, this looks so legit. What do you think makes a really good egg waffle? Well, great egg waffle is usually really crunchy on the outside, and then it's like airy and gooey on the inside. Can we eat this? Yeah, let's All do right. it. All right, I'm just gonna do this. How is it? So good. And it's like not overly sweet, it's chewy mm. on the inside, mm -hmm. crispy on the outside. This was so good. I love it, like just the traditional style, but I also know you do some really cool stuff here. Can we try it? I mean, we have a bunch of different really cool options, and we are all about picking whatever you want. The yes. egg waffle glowed up. Glowed up. Can we wow. eat it before the ice cream melts? Yeah. All right. Well, Michael, thank you. That was amazing. Thank, thank you for yes. showing thank us you. both the traditional egg waffle as well as the modern, the modern egg glue. I feel like we have our work cut out for this. Yep. I'm going to take this back now. <laughs> I'm going to ask her to share with me. Later. <laughs> All right. Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right, so we are back here in the Tasty Kitchen, mm -hmm. and we have been testing a lot of recipes since we've been back here. I think that we have found the one. The one. So first up, before anything else, we want to kind of combine all our dry ingredients, and we want to sift that just to make sure there's no lumps. All right, I will, first, I'll be sifting duty. Sifting? <laughs> oh, you want me to pour? Yes, please. Okay. I'm on sifting duty, remember? First off, flour. We have the tapioca starch. This is basically what kind of helps make it more chewy. Baking powder, mm -hmm. this is just to help it rise a little bit. Last thing, in terms of dry ingredients, is this custard powder. This is actually used in a lot of like 
Hong Kong, I think, baking goods, like egg tarts. Oh, sorry, sifting duty. You had one job, Alvin. <laughs> I literally have one job. And we're just gonna give these dry ingredients a nice old mix. And then, this is pretty much done. You don't actually have to mix it for that oh, long. And we are gonna bring in the wet ingredients, so let's go get some eggs. Let's go get some. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what am I supposed to go? So we have our wet ingredients and we have a double boiler set up. Pot of water going underneath and a clear glass bowl on top. Two Tiny eggs. Eggies. All right, I will name my egg Jim. What will you name your egg? Good it, Hama. Bye, Jim. Okay, that's one. All right, we're gonna give these eggs a whisk. We're not trying to cook the eggs here, but I think the heat kind of just helps it become a little more fluffy. When the yolks and the white are together as one, as one. As one. Oh, that was poetic. <laughs> we can add in the sugar, slowly yeah. but surely. And then the heat kind of helps the sugar dissolve. You whisk together eggs and sugar together and you go kind of fast. Oh, look at you putting that elevation on that. It kind of makes the eggs a little bit fluffier. And you end up with like nice ribbons, which is kind of cool, so. Nice ribbons. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go. We're supposed to do this for five minutes, you know that, right? I'll, I'll go for another minute or two. What's that, are you, are you putting a spell on the egg? I can take over. <laughs> For the people who are wondering, is this five minutes really necessary? Our culinary team did try one without, you know, beating it like this, but what happened? It was not as fluffy. And we want to give you guys a recipe that's like legit. So it sounds like a lot of work, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Okay, but as you can see, it's getting lighter and paler in color. It's getting mm -hmm. a little more fluffy. How's your arm? It's a bit tired. But look at that, it's like ribbons. There's no ribbons. <laughs> he made that up. Jim and Guretama have become great friends. And we're gonna keep going. So next up, we... Um. This is what I have to do when I work with Alvin. Whew. Next up, we have some evaporated milk mm -hmm. and some water. So we're just gonna go right in here with the milk. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that was graceful. Give me that. Y'all see that? <laughs> a tasty producer right here. But you wanna be careful, right? Because there's a lot of bubbles right now. We're gonna combine these two now. Yes. These are just the dry ingredients from earlier. So I'm just gonna gently do this. Oh, it's getting thicker now. Getting thicker. Inca has a more gentle touch, so she's gonna take over right now. But basically, if you beat it too much, the gluten in the flour starts to really get worked up mm -hmm. and get tight, and we don't want that. We have vegetable oil and some vanilla. You look beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Ta-da. I cannot. I stopped mixing because I think it's pretty much done. Super important next step. You want to run this through this again, especially when it's Alvin who's sifting the ingredients. You know, you just want to make sure. Let's go, Alvin. So, all right, ready to fix my problem. <laughs> no. Ooh. All right, so on top is your layer of mistakes, and on the bottom is a filtered out perfection. So now it's really important that you rest your batter. The reason we need to do that is because you want it to retain that fluffy texture. And if you don't do that, you're just gonna get some like harder waffles. Yeah. We just need plastic wrap. On it, Chief. <laughs> Wanna get it? Yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Help! What are you? <laughs> Ready? All right, go to sleep, Jim. One, two, three. All right, good night, sleep well. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so our batter is resting, and you're probably wondering, what is this big machine? This is actually the traditional OG egg waffle machine. It's probably the ones that we see actually on the streets. I saw this growing up in Hong Kong. You open it, it's got these like long handles. It was the closest we could get at least to like the actual thing, but it was very expensive. So, there is an alternative. If you do not want this machine, you can get this one. This is sort of like a regular waffle iron. It costs around 35, has the same amount of holes. It looks super similar. But we're gonna show you what each of these machines yes. does to their waffles and... Let's go get that batter. Oh, that sounded cool. So this has been rested overnight. I wanna show you guys, look, look at this. This is that ribbony texture we were talking about. It is so beautiful. Wait, look. Whoa! Will you do the honors of turning Bob on? You don't have to name everything. I like making naming a big... things. <laughs> no. No. So we've turned it up to 200 degrees Celsius. 
get lit. It's around the 400, 425 Fahrenheit range. I think the beauty of a really nice egg waffle is that it's smooth, it's one piece. This is why Elvin's really taking a lot of time here to slowly dab away. Yeah, every little hole needs to be filled. So where did your brain go? My brain is just like any other brain. So it is getting pretty steamy in here. This is when you know it's ready. I'm gonna fill this up to around 80%, give it a little twirl, and then I'll pick it up from there, or Elvin will take it away. All right. Here we go. This is super intense. This is it. Ooh. Okay. All right, time's ticking. Let's go. What's happening? So I'm just doing a little thing to cover all the areas. Then I'm gonna seal it. You can imagine the batter going left and right and mm -hmm. filling all those holes. I'm just gonna turn it upside down. The challenge is, if you don't do it fast enough, it all cooks. It, Two and a half minutes on the clock. Yeah, that was, I did good. If I didn't know who you were, I would buy one from you. Elvin, please tell us about this cool setup. Because in Hong Kong, when we buy this from the street vendors, they have that beautiful like U shape, but Elvin came up with a solution. If you take two bowls and you put a round wooden rolling pin and you rest the waffle that's hot like this, it will naturally fall and it'll be great. She said I'm a genius. I am going to get a wooden spoon or a chopstick. All Hold right, on. time's ticking. We got one minute left. Ooh, it smells good. I'm gonna open it. Wow. And I think because you really oiled this real well, it came right off. You ever go in an ice cream shop and they're making fresh waffle cones? Yes, it, yes. It smells crazy. Okay, so right. I'm gonna take this out. Do you wanna invert it? Invert it. Yeah. It's hot. Whoa, Whoa, look at that. It's hot, there's a lot of sugar, but they get hard over time, so you need to set. Why are you dancing? I'm going along with the beat okay. of your words. All right, so it's hot, you gotta cool it, you gotta make sure it molds together, so you put it on this thing, and once it cools down, it will become a nice cone, taco, U-shaped, crispy, delicious egg waffle. In, in normal human words, once it cools down, it will harden. How about you try to make one this time, Elvin, and just see if we get that beautiful yeah. golden brown color. My turn. Is that enough? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, up, left, right. You know like right. Alvin does like this whole body movement? Yes. You guys don't have to do that. You can just do it with your wrist. <laughs> Two and a half minutes. <laughs> it's puffing already, wow. Got you a cooling rack. Tell me a story about your memories with egg waffles. Egg waffles were kind of like our treats. You know, it's like, it was cheap, it was on the go. The smell of it reminds me of that time. Yeah. So it's a very nostalgic smell. Are you, are you nervous? Uh, slightly, I kind of want to. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh snap. Oh, yeah. This looks really good. All right, let us take this out. You want this? I good? got it. It's that okay. Looks like giant coffee beans. Little butts. <laughs> Look at this. We made a couple more. I think we're ready to open shop. Yeah. What are we going to name the shop? Eggy. Eggy's Friends. All right, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna do one more egg all waffle on that other machine we were talking about. Yes. It's right here. Mm -hmm. We wanna make sure that this can also turn into this. Just like before, we're gonna oil it as well. All right, we're gonna close. So this one, the movement is a little janky, so it's a little more playful. <laughs> oh, that's it. Let's just say it looks a little different than the one we made. Got it. I do got go, it. Go, Elvin. Go, oh, this is hot, 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 but hot. That's okay. Look Yay. at that. <laughs> Here, if you look at it, yeah. it's super similar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm so happy. So, as you can see, you too can achieve a great egg waffle. We're going to do a little taste test, and it's so crispy. Oh, <gasps> can you hear that? Oh my God, mm. childhood. You can see that these little bits, they're super crunchy and crispy. One side is clearly more hollow and the other side is more cakey. This is what you want, right? Because when you do the twirl thingy. You get the chewiness from the denser side, but you get the light puffiness from the side that's a little more open. This is how it's normally served. Alvin somehow found these brown paper bags. But now, the real test is. Can we sell them? <laughs> can this version live up to this version? All right, here we go. It's still got pockets of air in it. There's still some little hollow pockets. It's not as much as the other one. Cheers. Mmm, still crunchy. Mmm, but look, it's a little darker, it's a little shinier. Mm. I think that's because the high heat in the other pan almost caramelizes some of the sugar more. Honestly, if you gave me both, 
I would buy both. I never thought I would be able to eat something so local to Hong Kong's culture here. Uh -huh. We're gonna have the recipe fully in the description box. If you guys have any other street food suggestions that you think we should be doing, let us know in the comments and we'll see you guys next time. Are you really gonna take all those? Bye, Alvin. Inca, please. Inca, please. I want one. Inca, please. please. Oh, thanks.